It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey and we're here for beginners. Let's play number nine. Now today we're gonna be checking out Nairobi. I'm already on day four out of ten just to get a good look for it, you know, scout it out a little bit, see what we're gonna be running into. And really the key players or the zombies you could say that we're gonna run into are the puddlers and things like that. And they're a pain in the butt. I've gotta say, guys, they're they're awful. They really take out your units really quick. And you kinda gotta move the paths around. You wanna really spread out your your units as much as possible, and that's pretty much gonna get you the best result. But it's really all worth it because we're going to be getting a machine gunner at the end of it. So it doesn't leave a whole lot of room for complaining. But let's go ahead and start fighting here. This is my team. I have Captain Zeta. I have a sniper. I have a combat medic to go along with my lumberjack. I have a trooper, a scatter shot, and then a gunfighter. I'm going to go ahead and borrow. Let's go ahead and borrow this lumberjack right here. So really the key is you want to be able to take out these drones as fast as possible so you can get to the, the puddlers over there in the back. So I brought along about... I believe it was four gunners total, and then I brought a sniper to help kind of take them out from long range. And then I have my comic medic, which is going to be healing up my lumberjack while we're going. But you want to take out those gunner, the the drones as fast as possible. That's really the key thing. So here, let's go ahead and fight Nairobi. Going on a safari. I like it. So, let's see what we go. So, as you see, they give you tons of paths to really spread out your units. And then probably it'll really help get the best result for you. So, first pad is going to be coming in from over here. I'm going to go ahead and throw a sniper. He's going to chill in the back. Let's go ahead and get this area back there. Let's go ahead and move this right there. Let's go ahead and put my lumberjacks. I'm going to put both lumberjacks here with the combat medic. And then I'm going to put the gunfighter there. So that's the first pad. That's going to be pretty well fortified. It's, we're just going to be running some daredevils here. Nothing too crazy. I have three more people to throw down. I'm going to start. Hmm. Where do I want to start putting people? You know what? Captain Zeta is going to go right back here. And then we're going to put two people right there. And we're going to put them right there. Move Captain Zeta up right to the wall here. In between. And then we're going to start the waves. Hopefully that's going to be the second wave. I don't even know where it's coming from. But I want to get these guys going on their cooldown pretty quickly. So people are coming out here. These drones slowly but surely are working their way towards those lumberjacks. Those guys are going to be great. Oh, perfect. Right where I wanted to. So those lumberjacks are going to be perfect at tearing through these drones. I've got my comic medic chilling in the back. who's going to be getting some massive heals on those lumberjacks for me which is going to be ideal it's gonna be perfect as you can see they'll be they'll be fine so over here we're gonna start running some drones here but as you can see we're pretty we're keeping them pretty quickly off the pad here let me go ahead and fortify this a little bit more put in some people here Let's give these guys a little bit of a power boost and it looks like we're about to run into some more people over here i'm gonna go ahead and throw down another lumberjack here to help out a little bit nothing too crazy over there Let's go ahead and get a sniper here, lumberjack there. Now this is pretty much start working on the next pad. I have the sniper there because he's going to help take out that brute for me. These guys need to step it up a bit because we have a bunch of puddlers out there. Let's move them up just a bit. Get them in range of that sniper so we can take them out quickly here. Go down, please. it would be much appreciated. Come on, guys. You can do it. I believe. I believe. Okay, lumberjack is about to go down here. Let me go ahead and throw down a combat medic for my gunfighter. Not going to do it do much but you know yeah they go down pretty quickly but we're doing so far so good it's just gonna drop a couple more drones here and we will be 100 come on throw on some extra lumberjacks here so really the key is try to spread out units as much as possible and make use of those lumberjacks to the best of the is it too dark let me go ahead and brighten this up a little bit oh there we go a little bit brighter so yeah that's pretty much your key thing just really spread out your units uh bring along about one melee unit i recommend the lumberjacks just because they're able to take out those drones quickly and tons of gunners because you want to take out those really the key is taking those drones out as fast as possible so let's go ahead and continue here what do we get short rewards what do we got what do we got we got some cans and a handyman let go can't complain with that so we're nearing the machine gunner slowly but surely let's go ahead and get two more attacks in and then we'll come back for the finale. So Nairobi going on a safari. I'm gonna be honest, guys. When I first started playing, I just started pick, when I first picked up Nairobi, I, I got a couple losses, but kind of I sort of tweaked my team here and there, and I feel like this is actually really one of the best teams that you can bring along time to Nairobi. So let's go ahead and move over this area right here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw down my lumberjack. We actually have two combat medics for this area right here, so that's gonna keep that lumberjack golden no matter what he's not going to go down he's gonna be very stubborn this round and then along with that i'm gonna throw down throw down the trooper 
So I'm not entirely sure where the next wave is going to be coming from. But just in case, I really want to fortify this area since it's so close to the objective. I'm going to start putting people down there. I'm hoping that's going to be our second wave. I'm not sure. But we got, looks like we're going to have some puddlers coming in from this area right here. We've got to take them out quick or else we are going to be having some serious problems. So we got to take out those drones pretty fast. Don't go in the goo. Come on, guys. So the lumberjack staying super healed right here, guys. Doing great. Okay. Wrong pad fortified. Okay. I'm just going to have to hold that one off as long as possible <laughs> right there. So now we just got to pick off all these spitters who are just chilling back there. What are y'all doing? What? Are you, move. No. Combat medic's going down, but we can re we can replenish. No problem. Let's throw down some gunners here. Probably could have put them behind the wall, but it's okay. Let's throw down a lumberjack over there. Stim them up. Give them some extra power. And people are going down slowly but surely. Come on, let's pick off those puddlers over there. Let's bring them a little bit closer to the gunners for me. Come on, peeps. What's going on? Okay, extra snipers going down. Take my lumberjack. Okay, I don't like this. This is getting a little too hairy for me. But we're going to come out of it. Hopefully, if we can just get some more people coming. Come on. Okay, Cobic Medic, draw them away for me. Go away. Please. Oh, my lord. Heaven almighty. Ah! Okay, put you over there. Gunfighter, go over there. Take out people for me from long range. I'm sorry, guys. I think we're going to lose the objective. Don't go. Don't go. <laughs> All right, guys. So the recording actually crashed, but we did actually pull out a win. We did lose one objective. However, we still outcame. We end up taking the day. So really, if you still lose one objective, if you keep the other one, you take out the rest of the drones, you'll still be fine. So let's go ahead and continue on to day six here, and then we'll fast forward to the finale after this attack. Let me go ahead and borrow, see if I can borrow a gunner. Okay, I'm going to go with the lumberjack here from Gomez, and we're going to keep on cruising, guys. So Nairobi going on a safari. Woo. All right, so let's see what we got here. Where's our first wave coming from? All right, not too crazy here. Let's get the sniper in the back here. Going to chill over there. I'm going to put my lumberjack with the combat medic right here. And then I'm going to pair that with a scatter shot. <clears throat> so that's my area right there. I'm going to go ahead and hold off and wait until we see where the next wave is going to be coming from. Hope, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to hold off this one without too many problems here. Looks like we're just going to be running into a couple daredevils here. But hopefully that combat medic is going to be able to keep my person alive for me. So let me go ahead and start kind of splitting up my people here. I like this, how this is looking right here. Let's go ahead and send that because now or never guys so i have one gunfighter to throw right here nothing ugh, i don't really like that too much that like one gunfighter alone probably going to go down fairly quickly so i'm going to start fortifying this area back here let's see if i'm moving back a little bit run away get a lumberjack in there getting up and close and personal come back for me flare him away go away hopefully we can get a supercharge there we go so so far so good just got to take out a couple of puddlers over there they actually end up hitting the objective there which i'm not 100 percent a fan of but i'm gonna start fortifying they're making their way slowly and slowly closer and closer and closer to the objectives over here however it's all good because we have some extra help so let's throw in a combat medic over here she's gonna help cap help heal captain zeta here and they're just gonna start doing work for me so let's throw another lumberjack here looks like we're holding them off fairly well not too crazy here it is getting a little crazy i must say but we're still holding them off pretty strong let's go ahead and throw down this trooper to add a little bit extra firepower flare them away just to give them a little bit of a breather and let's throw down one more gunner to help out so down go the last couple of drones and we pull the win so really even if they start taking out your front lines you can still start fortifying in the back and still pull out a win right there so that's pretty much a good example of that so it looks like all my people are fried they are out of stamina so we are going to come back i'm going to finish off the last couple of days and we'll come back with the finale for you guys so stay tuned we'll be right back to the finale be back in a sec guys hey guys what's up so we are back with the finale of nairobi here day 10 of 10 and i must say nairobi was pretty humbling i mean the sprayer uh, these spit puddlers jesus louise goodness so it was actually really humbling these puddlers are crazy it really it's it really requires a lot of your strategy and movement of these troops but i've really figured it out my team has actually this has turned out to be the perfect team for me and it actually really come i was actually pretty reliant on my guild borrowed unit but um what i have here is i have a ton of gunners this combat medic came in so much handy i would recommend upgrading yours you have one by now 
as long as you didn't disband it, which I hope you didn't do. But it's coming huge handy. Um, I'm not really sure what this finale uh, map is going to look like, but I'm praying that it's like what I've been seeing. So let me go ahead and get this ready here. So, uh, one moment, please. Ah, there we go. Uh, sorry, I had to grab this USB cord really quick, guys. I got to make sure the iPad doesn't die. That would be bad. All right, so nothing too crazy here. And this map I'm actually very familiar with. It's very intense, I've got to say. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my Lumberjack here with my Combat Medic. Over here, I'm going to be throwing these three guys. I'm going to have my Trooper, my Destructor, and a Scatter Shot. The Sniper is going to be chilling back here. She should move her back here. Then I have two more units to throw down. I'm going to go ahead and throw them right over here because I think this is where the second wave is coming from. I'm going to go ahead and move them up just a little bit. So we're going to have a machine gunner if we win this round. Hopefully, cross our fingers. And we just got to take down these waves. Now, you have to really make sure you make units of moving. You have to make use of moving your um, rally point, you could say. So we can take out these spitters. Because if they do land a spot right there, they're going to start wiping out your troopers, your units, things like that. And we don't want that to happen. So if they do end up landing one, make sure to quickly try to move them out of that spit. Because we they will get drops pretty quickly. And we don't want that. So, second wave's coming from all sorts of angles over here. This is when I start throwing down the rest of my gunners here to help support. Now, I'm going to throw down two combat medics. We've got to keep this lumberjack alive, but it's going to be really tough. I've got to say, let's throw down another lumberjack here. Flare him away, just give him a little bit of a breather. It's pretty crazy. It's very hectic over here. Let's go ahead and throw a sniper over here. Move him back. Throw a trooper there to support. Don't believe we're going to have any more units coming from over there. Let's just go ahead and send these and hope for the best, guys. So, this little wave is coming down the line here we got a trooper i believe that's going to start helping out let's go ahead and move this guy these guys down a little move them over a little bit just kind of mix and match here and it looks like we're doing fairly well here i'm gonna start like throwing down all sorts of madness stuff because it looks like we're getting a ton of drones here but we're doing very well it's just got to make sure in the first first early stages make use of moving your rally point around that's really going to help you have a whole lot more success so that's the finale guys that's day 10 of 10 that is going to get us our trophies here 375 out of 375 that is a perfect round guys didn't lose one unit that's how that's that's a great ending for me guys i learned a lot going through this map i've got to say and it was pretty fun learning i did have to upgrade my troops a bit but it turned out just fine guys so here we go nairobi is complete let's get that machine gunner right there there it is so hyped to have a machine gunner now love them to death they're amazing 2.0 early in the beta they think they were killer but now we move on to the next challenge which is going to be the car but that's going to be in a later episode guys but thank you so much for watching i really do hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys in the next video see you guys